Hello beautiful souls. This is my swap for Ida Martinez from Created to Create. Her YouTube channel used to be Ida Martinez. She changed to Created to Create. And we were all created to create. So I love the theme of her channel now. Um, we, um, I, I wanted to do a swap with her and I said, you know, I had asked her, um, you know, we can do two charms or em embellish two things into a charm um, and have, um, oh, I forgot how many embellishments. I think it was two or three em handmade em embellishments. I don't even remember. Um, anyway... We don't ever, ever stick to other people's rules when it comes to creating and crafting. And I definitely don't even stick to my own. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I, you know, we all go above and beyond here and there. I, I believe we all do that. Um, but this is one of the things that I made for her. Um... I created this using this die, and I absolutely love this die. It's um, the steel rule die from Sizzix. This was created by Eileen Hall, and it's the train die. It's called um, the box box train case, and there's the item number. It's from Sizzix. And I um I had glued this um this closure down, but because I had lace here, it's not really closing properly. So what I did was I added this ribbon. Um actually this is what is this called? Seam binding. And I put Velcro. It's it's loose, but it's not going anywhere, as, as you can see. This is not opening. It's not going anywhere. So, it opens up like this. And that's how I decorated it in the inside. And I put some goodies in there for her. And it closes up. I put these keys that I've had for such, such a long time. I have a couple of these in different sizes. Um, and I just added these resin pieces. This is a um, porcelain flower. These are nail art. And I just glued it to the metal keys. I glued these on as well. And I used glue, which is this glue here. This is the equivalent to E6000 but it's a lot more cheaper. It's more economical. Look look at the size of the tube and this is about five six dollars and this I get this at Home Depot. It's the equivalent to E6000. Um, that's what I use to glue these pieces down. The metal pieces, the metal handle and then I also glued flat back pearl here, some rhinestones here flat back pearl here, and rhinestones there and some rhinestones on that piece right there on the on the sides okay so this is one of the things that I made for her and I jazzed it up with some lace and I was going to put like metal hinges on here but because the lace is covering it I didn't feel the need to do that. This hinge actually comes with the die. It, it cuts out the hinge and it has holes so you can put brads through it. Okay, so that's that. I also made her this. Which is another Sizzix steel die, steel rule die, which is this one here. And I just, um created compartments on it. I got that idea. I got this idea 
from Bona, who is Live, Laugh, uh, Live, Laugh and Scrap. I forgot. Anyway, I will write her YouTube channel in the description box below. She's very popular, so I'm pretty sure most of you or a lot of you will know who I'm talking about. And I got that idea from her. Thank you, Bona. And this is the, the die. This one is called Big Caddy, Bag Caddy. It's a little blurry because I still have it in the package. Well, I had put I put it back in its package. And here's the item number. This was very fun to play with, and so was the train case. Very fun. And I just created this these little compartments in there because um, when you create this it only has this part and then of course this part here so I just continue to cut these parts out so that I can create the compartments in between and then lastly I just added that part and these are just you know lace that I put in here for her So that's that and I decorated it in the front with some lace trim and applique and some flowers. There goes the glue sticks, the glue strings. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And then here's the caddy that I created for her. I did two stick pins and they are removable. So if you want to take them out, Ida, you can. So these are the stick pins I created. I put a flower, a paper flower up there and it has glitter on there. I don't know if the camera's picking up the glitter. Anyway, so there it is. I put two of the earring stoppers under here so you know just in case this gets loose or whatever but you could always re-glue it if it gets loose so th those are my stick pins and they get tucked into her the back of this makeshift dress that I made for her for Marie Antoinette And I made this handmade flower, this um, doily flower with some lace and crochet doily. And I added some lace. I added some lace to the sides. And then there's nothing in the back. And then in the inside, I created... This is what it looks like in the inside. I made for I included quite a bit of Marie Antoinette die cuts, different, you know, she was wearing different outfits. Okay, so first things first. She likes vintage, so I made these flowers as vintage as I could. What I did is I, I used some cream cardstock and then I inked it with tea dye ink from Tim Holtz. Um, and I also used, you know, white paper and I inked that with the tea dye. And then I have a stamp with, with tiny, tiny words from Graphic 45 called The Ladies. Well, it's from the collection called A Lady's Diary and it comes with this stamp that has you know small words in it so I stamped the whole sheet um, with the stamp and then I just used my dies to cut out the flowers and then I just shaped it and put it together for her so that's one I also made her some flowers this is the Ariana Grand uh, Ariana Ariana Grande not the singer <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie, the uh, Ariana Blooms from Heartfelt Creation. So I made her these flowers from that um, stamp and die set. Okay, 
Okay. I also made her some roses from Heartfelt Creations as well. The stamp and die set called Classic, the Classic Rose, Classic Rose. So I made her these, and these with the um, doily. These are die cuts. This is a die, these are dies that I have, and I just layered the doily die cuts behind the flowers. I have a tutorial on how I made these flowers using the the non branded dies that you know a lot of us purchase from China. Um, which is a cheaper alternative um, to making beautiful flowers that look expensive. So that's what I did for her too. All right, what else, what else? Okay, and then I have a bow die in a few different sizes so I created this one for her these are the larger dies this again was the you know regular white cardstock and I stamped it with the script stamp and then I just distressed it on the edges some have flowers and some have flat back pearls I did some here that were a little bit vintage so that's what she likes like that one and these and then this is the smaller one so she can put these in her packages or she can put them in her projects okay so that was that's that all goes in this caddy here so you so Ida you don't have to worry about to where you're gonna put all this stuff it already comes in its own little caddy and the die cuts go in here as well and of course, I've sh I showed this in a previous video, the little toddler, so this, she's going to go in here as well. So that's that one. Okay, what else? I'm going to get to the dresser. I'm going to get to the dresser. I'm just saving that one for, for a little bit later. Okay, I also m altered a canvas tote bag for her I um, printed this is the Tales of You and Me by Prima paper and I printed it out on fabric I cut one of the um, collect one of the design papers in, into an eight and a half by eleven so I can scan it and what I've done too was I had layered extra flowers on the side um, so they can be seen and then since I have a little bit of knowledge of editing pictures once I scanned this in I opened it up in a program called GIMP it's a free program you can download it you, um, anybody can download it it's free to edit photos it's it's almost equivalent to Photoshop. I'm pretty sure Photoshop can do more. I don't know the ins and outs of Photoshop, but it has quite a bit of the same features. And through YouTube, um, which I'm very grateful for, um, that's how I learned to manipulate it. That's how I learned to use it. That's how I learned to convert, you know, JPG um, pictures into PNGs where there's absolutely no background. I learned how to um, color the skin, how, how to change skin tones on images. I learned quite a bit a lot through YouTube. So what I did was I added Marie Antoinette and this chair into the into, in, onto the scanned um, design paper. Because it was kind of, there was nothing here and it was a little bit too plain. So, this is all fabric. And I hand stitched it, you know, I folded it against the canvas because I would have done it by machine, but I would have had to take the whole canvas apart and I didn't want to do that. I really didn't want to do that. So, I actually hand stitched it on here and I layered her the dress. 
um, I, I layered her dress, you know, with these um, lace and appliques and roses on there. And this is all hand sewn. And the reason why I did that is so that if you want to wash it, Ida, you can. You can. Ha I, I prefer for you to hand wash it and use very, very, very mild soap. Um, but it's also, there's nothing glued here. Absolutely nothing is glued here. Not even this, these, this cluster flower. This is actually sewn. And it's, I also finished it in the back. So this I also scanned in and it's hand sewn. All of these parts here are hand sewn. The handle was white and I didn't really care for that. So I sewed this, um, crochet trim here, which actually fit nicely um there so that's also hand sewn all of it and then here is a handmade flower that i did for you and but it's backed up in a um what do you call these in these clips you know that you can um put as a brooch um oh my god it's slipping my head uh Anyway, you know what I mean. I, I added, you, you can take this out if you want. I just thought it looked really pretty there. This is the book, the altered book that I made for Ida. Um, and I added these trims. This, since, you know, since this canvas tote bag was smaller than an eight, eight and a half by 11, of course I had to trim it. So the leftover piece that I trimmed off, I actually added them here. So I, I made strips out of it so that nothing went to waste. None of this 8.5 by 11 um, fabric print, nothing went to waste. So I added it there. And it's all everything is um, hand sewn. Everything here. So you can remove this when you want to wash this. So... I wanted to make it where it was removable. Why can't I think of the name of this thing? I, I, I know it off camera, and when I'm on camera, I totally freeze. Um, and I feel the same way you feel, Ida. I feel like I'm talking to myself because nobody's actually really watching this while I'm recording until I actually upload it on YouTube. Then people are watching it, but I'm really talking to myself. <laughs> so... So, yes, so it feels a little weird. Yes, it does. <laughs> and I've said that many times. Um, my boyfriend cracks me up when I say it to him. I made her some molds. She actually says she doesn't have any of these. So I'm glad. So I made her some molds. These were done with the the metal the metal brooches, and I just made her molds. So now you know she can make her own pieces, resin pieces or clay pieces, and she can do them over and over and over again. And here are the pieces. I'm going to include this as well. I made her these. Um, I'll make some more of these so that I can include them. Or I can just send you these. I can make them for myself anytime because I also have these molds. These are the molds for these. This is great. So you you know when you when you don't when you're I'm I'm a very on I'm, I'm on a very tight budget. So when whenever you know I want an embellishment or something like that, I could always make them myself to put in my projects. Um, I'm not selling these molds, but um, I'm not I'm not really into selling you know making these to sell them. But it's easy. To make these molds there are plenty of tutorials here on youtube that's how i learned and how to make your own molds using the silicone caulk um, that you can get at a hardware store or at a home improvement store like um, lowe's or um, 
Home Depot and places like that. But it's very easy once you, you know, get the hang of it. You can whip these out pretty quickly. You also need cornstarch, um, baby oil, and acrylic paint, you know, to paint them. I also made something for her sister, her niece, and her daughter. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. I went overboard. <laughs> yes, I did. Um, she, I love the way she talks about her family when she talks about her sister. Um, her sister's a little bit country and Ida's a little bit rock and roll. <laughs> um, she talks about her daughter. And, you know, and, and how honest she is. She talks about her niece and her, and her crocheting. And, you know, and I crochet too. And I absolutely love it. Um, so I gifted all three of them. I made something for all three of them. For her daughter, I made... For her daughter and her niece, I made this. Um... This is a notepad holder. This is for her daughter because I recall her saying she likes shabby chic. And ironically, I did this before I even knew that. So I did it shabby chic anyway. Um, and this is for her niece. I don't know the you know what her niece's um, taste is, but I made one for her anyway. And this is just a notepad holder and I got this tutorial from a lovely lady here on YouTube. I will link, link I will um, put her info in the description box below um, for the tutorial on this. I, I totally forgot her name and I'm so sorry but I, I, I did. And this is what it looks like in the inside. So this is the notepad. This is the pen, the pen holder. And this she did differently. She actually made a little box for the sticky notes to go in. Um, I just did two belly bands here. And I just put two. She only had one little box for the sticky notes. And I actually ended up putting two here and putting the belly band here. And this actually opens here, and there's a folder here for you know for her her little notes, her, her loose notes, and the the this the other one that I made for her niece, it's pretty much the same. And here's the belly band, and I just open this up a little bit and just stick it in there like that. And this comes out so you so she can replace this when it f finishes so it comes out like that and I'll put it away later and then the pen holder I put Tyvek inside of the paper so you know it doesn't tear so it's nice and strong and sturdy and this one is pretty much the same in, in the inside. This was um, easy to make. So easy and quick to make. And I'm going to include them in these canvas bags as well. Ida, you're responsible to decorating these for your daughter and your niece and I made and I'm including one for your sister too because I have something for her too I'll show that in in a moment so um get to cracking and create and embellishing these for them <laughs> okay I'm giving you work <laughs> so that's that and I'm um for her for her daughter I'm gonna include some for her niece too which I haven't done yet but I had I was grateful enough um, and blessed that I found a big um, roll of lace 
for dirt dirt cheap I don't want it me to do a haul on it I'm not really much of a haul person I don't really do videos of hauls but I wanted to share my finds with her daughter with Ida and her sister but I'm gonna include some for her niece too because it was a lot and I got it for dirt dirt I'm talking about dirt cheap so this is this is how this came and this was only two dollars I think this was two dollars or two dollars and fifty cents and look how much I still have and I gave everybody quite a bit in here okay and I still have a lot left this was two this was either two dollars or two dollars and fifty cents one of these was two fifty and the other one was two dollars I don't remember which one but look how much is in here and I gifted them quite a bit of this one too um, originally I told Ida that I would send it to her and she can share it with her sister. She, you know, she shares with her sister a lot and her sister's very sharing too. But I, I said, why am I going to do that when I can just, you know, take it out and just give it to her separately? Um, so I went ahead and did, and did that for her sister too. And then this one here was so much of it. Look at that. Look how much, and this was only $6. Is that a bargain or what? Dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. I said I wasn't going to do a haul, and here I am doing it. <laughs> I got this. This is, this is, people pronounce this grow grain. I pronounce it gross grain because the S to me is not silent. Um, and look how much of this I got. This I paid $3 for. So I gifted her with that and this pretty pink ribbon. I um then I got this for two fifty. This pretty polka dot. It's a shabby pink. It is so pretty. And ironically, I, I, ironically, it was in the colors that I use and the colors that I like. And I actually cleaned them out of it. Um, and this is the purple one, and I'm gifting, I, well, I took some out already for her. That's why it's a lot less. But this was forty, and it was full. It's still Okay, so that's enough of this. And this is for her sister. I actually made her a loaded envelope. I made this for her sister. Maria is her name. Oh, and her niece's name is Provi. I'm not going to take out the contents. Um, I want her to see, you know, I want her to be surprised. So she can take it out and see what, you know, what's in here. And I made her this tassel charm. This is a clay piece that I made. Here's the goodies, the other goodies that I packed for her. The canvas. Don't worry, Maria. Ida is going to alter that for you. And this is a brand new uh, card making magazine that I had received. So I'm going to gift this to Ida's sister as well. I know you're going to look through it, Ida, before you give it to your sister. And this came with the magazine as a free gift. Um, this is for card making. I'm pretty sure your sister's going to share with you anyway, Ida. So I want to give that gift that to her. I wasn't using it, and I haven't used it either. So rather than just it sit there, I'd rather give it away. So that's going to be for her sister. Now let's get to the dresser. Here is the dresser.
the handmade dress uh, I used to post the board to put this together it's the sides and the handmade embellishments are in here are inside here look at the front I put these pieces these um, these trims here to weigh this down because when I first put it down you know it was sticking up a little bit and to keep it down I, I ended up adding this and now it stays nice and flat I added this trim here I did not embellish this so I didn't want to cover up the lace. However, I am going to include this mask. You know, because back in those days, they had a lot of masquerade party in Marie Antoinette's days. So I still have to sand this a bit. Um, this is the clay. Um, this is not made out of polymer clay. It's made out of the air dry clay. So if you want to embellish this and then put it on top of here, you can. But I'm going to include this too. But I did not want to cover this at all. Look how pretty that is. It would have been a shame. And you can put up here anything you want. So I didn't want to take away from what you wanted to put on top of here. So I, I left it just with the lace like that. It's really pretty. Now this is what I created. Oh, and this just flips up like this. Real simple, easy. Um, I did that. These are clay pieces, polymer clay pieces, and this is metal embellishment that I put gold ink on. And it opens up like that. That's the inside. I <laughs> I wasn't gonna embellish this, but I didn't realize that I had cut this paper upside down, and it, the images were upside down. The words are still upside, you know, the, you, the words are upside down here that it's still visible, but that's okay. I couldn't really put anything here because that's against here and, it, and I wanted it to close flat. But I ended up embellishing it just to cover the fact that the people are upside down. And this is the inside and these are the handmade embellishments I made for her. So I used the clay pieces and altered them. And of course I did more than what was required. So, <laughs> more than what we agreed, you know, we both agreed upon. So that's it, very shabby. It's really soft and shabby. And this, this paper that I'm using goes so well. Like, makes this pop. And this is a paper you cannot, it's not available. And, and I'm going to tell you why. It's not, um, it's only available through me, and, and I'm going to tell you why. It is available, but not as of yet, and I'm going to tell you why um, you haven't seen this paper yet. So that's that. They turned out really pretty. I'm going to, I'm going to create some of these and, um, and give you guys the opportunity to purchase them. Um, here's the inside. I have some more stuff. I included these resin flowers that I put throughout this project <laughs> that I made for Ida. And I included some of the... I have polymer clay um, frames. And this is the air dry clay, the new one that I'm using. This was this um, dress here is the air dry clay from uh, Creative. It slips my mind. Anyway, that's from a different air dry clay that I will not be using anymore. <clears throat> I included that. There's a dress form here made out of the polymer clay. There's some more of the air dry clay pieces. So you can alter these items. That's all going in here. <clears throat> now getting to that paper 
that I was talking about. I've been so busy creating my own digital shabby chic paper. And that's where this comes from. This paper comes from. That's why I say you can't really, it's not available to, to purchase like that. Um, and these are not up yet at Tea Time and Dolls Etsy shop. It's not up yet. Um, there are a few elements that I think I still want to add to this. But Ida, you're getting first dibs on the paper collection. Is actually three different um, collections and they're going to be purchased differently differently separate not differently separately they're all going to be pur purchased separately um, you're getting first crack at it this i printed it out for you but i will be sending you the digital file um so you can print it out and, and use it as many times as you would like um so this is the landscape style and it's an eight and a half by eleven sheet All right, my memory was full. Um, I had to delete some stuff. Okay, so carry on. This is the other one. Look how shabby. Oh, and by the way, this is this collection. This collection is called Doily Dreams. Look how pretty. I created this umbrella. It's very lacy. I added some lace to the background. These are lace butterflies. These are these are doilies in the background. These are the pretty medallions. That that image is actually this one here. This is in the blue, that one is in the pink. But that's that image here much smaller and then I just embellished it this one has the blue tone with the pink medallions look how pretty this one is so shabby and then that's this one where this one is on it has the doilies and the roses and the tiny tiny doilies and then this is the pink one with the blue medallion this is the blue umbrella you saw the pink one or this is the blue there's the doilies in the background with the lacy butterflies that's the pink one and then there's this pretty one here and then I took the sheets minus one because I couldn't fit ten here it's ten design sheets all together and I just made little cards out of it. These I think will go great in the pocket. Um, what are those things called? Um, the pocket. You guys know what I'm talking about. I think these will fit in great in there. Look how pretty. Wouldn't that be a pretty one to create? So these are the mini versions. Of the eight and a half by eleven sheets, and then you have the die cuts or the uh, ephemera. You can make paper clips out of these. You could even make the hidden paper clips out of these as well. But look how pretty! You can print these out on, on sticker sheets also. And here's the fun part. <laughs> Look at the umbrella, it's so pretty. 
Oh God, I love, I love this collection. That's the pink one, the pink umbrella. The lacy butterflies. Here's the smaller ones. If you want to create uh, paper clips out of those. And then I also included the mirror image for it. So in case you want to glue them back to back. So you have a mirror image of it as well. And this is the last one. This is also mirror image. So this one up here is going in this direction. And the one down here is going in that direction. And then the smaller ones are going in this direction. And that one is going in that direction. So that if you want to glue them back to back, you can as well. These will make pretty embellishments. So that's... This kit will only include uh, these extras. These are great for TNs, for journaling. Um, so this is the only kit here that is going to include these parts. And I will have these separately if if you just want to get these parts separate as well um these are like journal journaling pages these are like fillers so there's only four of these i have to correct that because i forgot the s on this one oopsie um but that's it right there So you can you can create a little booklet with this set here and it's only four pages but it's eight um, of these okay so that's that one and then this one is the portrait size I thought of people who like to um, alter composition notebooks so I decided well let me do it in portrait size as well so that's what I did here. So it's pretty much the same, but in portrait size. So I did double the work to create these. I absolutely love this. So you can create your own TNs with the, you could also create mini TNs with this one as well. So this is pretty much the same in, in the portrait size. I will do a separate video on on this collection because like I said I th still want to add some more um, pieces like envelopes and tags and a few more things. To this and it, it, it would only be included in the landscape size it won't include it in in these sets here so there you have it that is pretty much it I think there are other things that I'm gonna send her but I know she's been peeking this whole time so have I <laughs> So have I. Oh my God, we are so bad. <laughs> um, anyway, um, but I want it to be a, uh, a total surprise. So I have included some other stuff for her. Um, thank you guys for all your support, for all your lovely comments. Um, all is well. Let's share, be fair, be filled with love, and love one another. Take care, everybody.